See how these people follow me behind me? This is what the dead do every day. Who passed the overdose? Who is that to you? Uh, one of my best friends. He's here. Listen, I, I don't want to get in trouble here. All of a sudden it becomes Jerry Springer. <laughs> but he's showing me that he always had a thing for you here in this world when I'm connected with him. He actually just leaned over and kissed you when I connected with him. I loved him very much. He says to me, I want to let you know that there was nothing you could have done because you think in your mind he should have called me, he should have reached out to me because this was something that we were working through together. He tells me that this was, that you knew that he was having these addictions here in this world. Do you understand that? And he actually tells me, he goes, Matt, she used to call and check up on me and say, is everything okay? Are you fine? You sure everything's good? Do you understand that? Every day. So know that he's apologizing to you because he says to me, I'm sorry for what you found out in the way that you found out. He says, so if I made it to the other side, he says, and I made it here with you, know it's my way of letting you know that I am okay, that I am safe and at peace, and my soul is always with you. Can I give you a hug, is that okay? <laughs> Sir, your family has been through so many tragedies because they're all here. <laughs> it's been one thing after another after another because I also have a soul that's here that's tell me they passed up a brain aneurysm. That was my son. That was your son. So your son had the aneurysm and yeah. died. Yes because he's here and he kept saying to me, he kept saying, my head, my head. I gotta come up there. Oh my. Oh. Your son just asked me to come over and sit next to you because your son has told me about the pain that you've been going through every single day. He says, so you need to let my father know that I am okay and also thank you for being there by my side. Your son says to me that you still have clothes of his here in this world. His whole room's still there. Your son says, you can't go through life pretending like this never happened. Your son is saying when I'm connecting with him that he needs you to start living life again. He says, Dad, do it for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have like a conga line full of dead people on the other side when I'm connecting. This is crazy right now. It is. Did somebody pass in a fire? My aunt. She says to me, Matt, she goes, I burned to death. She did? She but did? This is crazy. Now I know, sometimes I don't realize, because you don't understand, yeah, you I don't know. You gotta stop doing this to me, I can't take it. I didn't think I was gonna be at it. You can't take it. What about me? I have to live with these people every day. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. I gotta tell you something. When I look at you, I feel like I'm looking right at your mother. That's what everybody says to me. You look just Stop like her. It. Stop I it. You better watch out with this one. I'm about to get hit over here or something. First of all, he tells me that he had a lot of issues here in this world when I'm connecting with him. It's kind of hard because I had a real husband and then I had a gentleman that I had a daughter with that I lived with. <laughs> and he passed away too. Oh, Jesus. He says it's to me, you're doing important. everything right. But I also got to tell you something, okay? I don't know if you want to call him your first husband or what the hell you want to call him. <laughs> it's, it's Detroit, maybe you got some other names, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but he's also here. Because right away, he's saying to me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm he sorry, should I'm be. sorry. That man took his life in front of me. I was a 20-year-old girl with a baby that was one pound and three ounces, and he left me. He was 12 years older than me and I trusted him. I still love him, but he should be sorry, tell him. Well, I think you just did. I'm gonna tell you something that you don't know, okay? And it's what he saw from the other side. Because he says to me, when I'm connecting with him, that what he did was wrong because he did this in a fit of rage here in this world. He did? He goes, I owe her the biggest apology. Not because of what I done, he says, but because of what happened after the fact. Because everybody blamed you for his passing. I didn't care. I didn't care. But I'm going to tell you I what know. he says. I know. He didn't he's, Don't tell me another word I'm going to tell you. That's what you pay me for. Thank he you. says to me, he says to me that he did this to himself, he says, to get you in trouble. He tells me that when he was here, he was afraid of stepping up to the plate. He was afraid of being a husband. He was afraid of being a father. So the one thing that he wants to let you know is that you've been carrying this pain for all these years. 
And you question every single day, did he love me? Because you loved him so much. And I gotta tell you that he did. He says, but I should have listened to you. He says, and you were the one who had all this hurt and all this pain. So know that he's asking you right now to forgive him. I forgive him. I pray for his soul all the time. He says, and he is truly sorry for what he had done. All right, I'm gonna leave you with that. Give her a round of applause. Can you come give me a hug? Just don't hit me.